Hello everyone, welcome to my new video. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to create this in After Effects. Let's start. Okay guys, welcome back. I will add the vector link and project file in my description below. You can check it from there. So firstly, we have these vectors. And let's select all of them with Ctrl A and let's press Ctrl C. And then let's press Ctrl N for a new blank. And let's keep these settings and click to create. And now let's press Ctrl V and hold shift. Let's change the scale of it like this. And let's open this layer and let's select this rectangle, which is our background. And let's click to here and let's change the scale of it so it matches our background. Nice. And now as you see these layers are our animation layers so now let's close here firstly and then let's make a new layers for that just go down and click to this plus icon now let's create some layers okay and as you see we have 10 layers so let's start to rename them one by one okay it's done now let's move them to this new layers let's move the first one to first one and second one to second one and so on Okay, it's done. Now we have left this layer and let's rename it our background. And now let's save it with Ctrl Shift S. And let's go to the desktop and let's save it as a character frame. And let's keep it like this and press to save. And from this window just click to OK. And now let's get back to After Effects. Okay, we are in After Effects now and let's import these vectors. So for that we can just double click to here or we can go to the file and go to the import and click to file. And let's go to the desktop and let's select this character frame and let's change it to composition retain layer size. And now let's click to import. Let's create a new composition, just go click to here and let's rename it to walk animation. And let's keep these settings and click OK. And now let's double click to this character frame and select these all layers and go to the align. Let's make it like this. And let's move them all to the center like this. Nice. And now let's start with the first layer. And select the first layer and go two keyframes with page down. One, two. And let's zoom a little bit. Okay and go to the edit and click the split layer or you can press ctrl shift d and let's delete it and select the second layer and move it to the right go to two keyframe again one two and let's split it again and delete it and the third one go to two keyframe and split it let's delete it and move it like this Okay, it's done. And now let's go one keyframe to the back with page up and press N. Now let's see it. Okay, as you see, it's really fast. So to fix that, let's zoom out a little bit. And let's select all these layers and let's move them to the right a little bit like this. Now let's do it like this so it will be more slowly. Let's see now. Okay, it's done. Now let's go to our main composition and let's move it to here. And let's go to there and let's right mouse and click to trim comb to work area. Now go to back to our main composition and let's duplicate it like this. And go to the end and press M. Let's move it like this. Okay, nice. And move this one to the left. Let's preview it. Okay, nice. Also, I have this kind of layer as well, and let's preview it as well because I did the same way I did with the, this one. So, let's see. Okay, nice. It looks good. So, guys, thanks for watching my video. Please don't forget to subscribe to the channel and leave a comment in my video. See you in the next videos.